question from the lady side assalam alaikum brother zakir uh, my question is when quran speaks so much about science then how come the muslims are so backward in the field of science which is that was the question that when quran speaks so much about science how come the muslims are backward sister i would mainly blame the media the media today is in the hands of the westerners the european it's in their hand they have the satellite they have the television they have the cnn they have the bbc it's in their hand the media is in their hand and what do you read in your school books and books which you read in college you read there that from 8th to the 12th century it was the dark ages dark for whom it was dark for the europeans not for the world the arabs and the muslims were very much advanced from the 8th to the 12th century they were very much advanced the europeans were backward because they were backward they said it was dark ages for the world it was not dark for the world it was dark for the europeans with the limited instruments and technology what we had from 8th to 12th century what discoveries the muslim scientists made it's unbelievable today because science is advanced and making so many discovery there with the amount of limited facility we had the amount of discoveries muslim scientists made it's unbelievable for example i quoted in my talk that ibn nafis he discovered the blood circulation but in the medical books and the books we read in school who discovered blood circulation william harvey everyone knows william harvey no one knows about ibn nafis ibn nafis spoke about blood circulation 400 years before the europeans they later on picked up the books of the muslims and rehashed it and said we discovered it see if you see the discovery that muslims have made for example if you know ali drusi in 1154 he drew the first map of mediterranean the geography of the world first mathematics muslims were far advanced in mathematics we introduced the decimal points do you know what we call the digits 1 to 3 it's called as arabic numerals the other one the called as roman numerals why it called arabic numerals because the arab was the one who discovered it the decimal point as arabic numerals the person who first proved the pythagoras theorem he was arab thusi we know about the pythagoras theorem but we don't know about arab thusi he said that the square of the hypotenuse was equal to the sum of the opposite two sides of the triangle al biruni he was an authority in trigonometry all these people they were experts if you know of al khindi al khindi he was a philosopher a mathematician and astronomer when great scientists like galileo newton etc they said that all physical laws were absolute he said that all physical laws are relative and today we know the theory of relativity is proved by albert einstein no one knows about al khindi he was the person who basically gave the idea of theory of relativity later on he did more research and talked about theory of relativity who knows about the three brothers mohammed shakir and hasan who know about them they told the surface area of the earth from an angle at the red sea when people thought the world was flat chemistry the muslim the far advanced in chemistry ibn ayyan jabir ibn hayyar they have latinized the word gabar So when we read in our textbook Gaber we think it's an European it's a Muslim Jabir ibn Hayyan we know Gaber we don't know Jabir he is the person who distilled alcohol alcohol comes from the arabic word algul meaning ghost evil spirit alcohol is an arabic word he wrote 2000 different pages on chemistry Muhammad Zakaria Razi he was famous in medicine he was authority on the field of smallpox and measles he was the first person who used mercury ointment he wrote books on children's disease there are several muslim and ali ibn abbas he wrote 20 volumes on medicine ali ibn sina known as avicina avicina it doesn't sound muslim ali ibn sina a muslim avicina not muslim who got the title of aristotle of the east he wrote the book 
Kanun, which was referred as a textbook of medicine till as late as 17th century. Who knows Ibn Zuhur? He was the person after Alexander who did research on parasitology. He described the H mite, the pericarditis, he described the otitis media, he attacked the stromy. Several medical doctors, Azharvi. Azharvi was a famous dentist as well as surgeon as, as well as obstetrician. He invented several instruments of surgery, gynecology, as well as dentistry. We all of us know the other thing, but the media is in the hands of the Westerners. The Muslims are far advanced, but I do agree with you. Today, today, the Muslims are getting backward in science. You know why? The Europeans are being advanced. You know why? The Muslims are becoming backward because they are going away from the Holy Quran. They are going away from the religion. And do you know why the Europeans are getting advanced? They too are going away from the religion. The Europeans are also getting advanced because even they are going away from the religion. The Muslims, we are going backward because they are going away from religion. I would request the Muslim brothers and sisters out here, as well as non-Muslims, they are people in the Quran. Why don't we read the Quran with understanding? Why don't we ponder over the verses? We have only kept the Quran kissing and giving on top, that's all. The Quran was not meant to be kissed and kept on top. It should be implemented in your daily life. If you implement the Quran in your daily life, read with understanding, inshallah, again, we will be on top of the world. Hope that answers the question.